Hello everyone, and welcome to this random Shonen Archive side thing. Uh, this video is very different from a lot of the other Shonen Archive thing, because this was the bit in the most recent Jujutsu Kaisen episode, where I had to dolphin noise uh, a talk we had near the end, because there was just too much spoilers that got into the actual manga of Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, both me and Zen are really big Jujutsu Kaisen fans, so we kind of had to talk about the chapter that had come out. So what you're going to hear now is our specific thoughts that came, that I started to talk about, which is specifically directing the ending of episode 33 of the Jujutsu Kaisen anime, leading into um, manga spoilers, so there will be plenty of those. You're being warned right now. If you don't want any spoilers, don't worry. You can click off the video right now. I'm saving you the bit here and you're good to go from this point on. There are also going to be spoilers for My Hero Academia. <laughs> so if you're not caught up in that, I would suggest catching up on that if you want to hear this one. Uh, it kind of makes sense with what we're talking about, but there you go. That's going to be in this video. So hope you enjoy it. If you do, you can always leave a like. You can just watch regular Shonen Archive and where we don't always spoil the manga, but you know. Obviously, because of what had recently happened in Jujutsu Kaisen, me and Zen had a lot to say and had a lot of thoughts. So, I'm going to have the music play, and when it comes back in, you'll be hearing it now. Okay, ready, countdown, three, two, one, hit it. Ah, oh, dude, all of it's sick. All of it's so good. It really is. There's just no amount of ways for us to say. We could go on and on about how fucking unbelievably sick this is, and we could. But unfortunately, this is where uh, the yeah, dolphin. Yeah, I could. But yeah, we gotta. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta move on. And before we move on, it's time for the dolphin noise to kick in because Zen is. Was this a mistake? <laughs> what airing it at this this day? No, not airing it at this date. That's really funny that they did that, because that just shows further that the author hates Gojo. And I think anything more after the most recent chapter, <laughs> I think it's been solidified that this man does not like him at all. Yeah, no, sure doesn't. Sure <laughs> does it, doesn't. Does it at all. What I'm saying is, does it now feel like a mistake to actually lock him away? <laughs> knowing that... Oh, uh, kind of. <laughs> knowing that when he gets, knowing what we know now, and obviously at this point it's been uploaded as a side thing so we can talk freely, it really feels weird to me, right? It's weird for me to see this episode and go like, so this is it, right? This is basically the death of the character for all intents and purposes. Because by the, ten the next time we see him, he's just not this guy anymore. It feels like he's a completely different character at that point. Well, he he gets out of the thing. Yeah. And then they just time skip to a fight that he then immediately loses and dies. Yeah, so, so then... he effectively does nothing and then is gone again. He does so, nothing. And then the question is, like, why? Because, you know, every time someone talks about it, being like, oh, it has to happen, actually, because he has to get removed from the story. But he already was. He, he already <laughs> was. That's, that's what the box was for, was for removing him from the story. So it makes, like... It feels weird that they, they did the whole, like, you know, we got to get the, the strong guy out of the way with some bullshit. It's like Goku getting sick every fucking arc, yeah, right? Like, yeah. he's, Goku's getting healed or whatever because the, the plot has to happen and Goku has to not be there because he keeps being too strong for the plot if he's there. Fine. Mm -hmm. um, but then, like, so that's what they did with the box. It's like that that was his heart disease, right? He got heart disease and he had to wait until he healed. But why then, then after getting goku he got vegeta right after that. Where they brought him out of the box, and the only reason to bring him out of the box was to have Sukuna kill him to make Sukuna look cool. Like, uh, yeah, but it, it it really didn't work that way because it no, it, it doesn't seem it really cool. Didn't. Like it's so bizarre to me. Everything that seemed around built around it, and specifically just like I don't know if they'll end up. I, I mean, I guess my hope is is like, hey, maybe they'll fix it in the anime like they tried to fix it for Yu Yu Hakusho. But I th only I think there's only just so much you can fix without completely rewriting some things, man. It's not even the fact of, like, a death. Because I feel like at this point, if that's how you were going to treat him later on, you may as well just have figured out a way to kill him right here. <laughs> so if I'm yeah. going to be 100% real with you, your plan should have been just kill him here. It makes everyone look stupid. 
because it makes uh, Kajaku's plan make no sense because he goes like, okay, Gojo's out of the way. And then later on it turns out, well, none of this would ever mattered because actually if they just freed Sukuna, he would have actually been able to handle Gojo no problem. <laughs> Yep, he would have <laughs> lear- He would have so easily defeated him, and it it seems like no matter what, that was always in their plan was to always have Gojo beat him. So it didn't even matter if he was in the right body when he fights Sukuna. Like if you can make that mistake of like, oh man, he had, but he had the help of the ten dudes, whatever. I think no matter what, if you had asked him a hundred, it doesn't matter if you look at feats or whatever the fuck or power scale. If you ask the author of Jujutsu Kaisen. Would Gojo have lost in either body? His answer would have been yes to both of them. <laughs> yes. Because uh, does it make sense? No. Not really. <laughs> not, not. But is it what he would have said? Absolutely. 100%. And I don't know. It just feels so wrong. Because in this episode, they do such a good job of being like, yeah, no, he's the strongest. He's him. He's the guy. <laughs> And then just to go to the most recent chapter and be like, I just don't know anymore. And it goes back to what I said earlier, too, where I said the number one sign of saying you've actually lost a fight in Jujutsu Kaisen is to say you've won a fight. And that's what, that's uh-huh. what he did to him. They yep. fucking mechamaru'd Gojo. They, they mechamaru'd him. The number one way to lose is to declare victory too early. And he, oh, man. But yeah, it's 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 tough to go looking back at this and being like, it is really cool and it's really done well done well in the moment. But then remembering is like, oh yeah, at this point, like it, if you were just it, afraid of reintroducing him to the story, you could have just waited till the end and, and then freed him <laughs> and been like, I, we didn't actually need your help. It turns out it, it, we were fine, and he would have been like, yeah, I mean that's why I was building towards, you know, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I, I got what I wanted. You guys are fine. Now it just feels weird because now he's not going to be able, even though they established it in this episode where he's like, oh, don't worry, there's someone else. You have your own character saying, he's not you though. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. And you know, no no offense to him because I, even though I haven't seen um, Yuta in Jujutsu Kaisen Zero yet and I don't really know much besides the chapters in it, I'm kind of feeling the same way where it's just like, I, I don't know now that you're kind of out of the story, it does change a lot of things. And even as someone who really does like Yuji and even in my mind, I'm like, yeah, obviously you need to have Yuji fight Sukuna at some point. I think it would have been, I don't know. It, it, it really does feel like writing yourself into a corner, right? When your number one, most hype mo- match is actually not between the main character and the main villain. It's between the main character's teacher <laughs> and the main villain. <laughs> Maybe you've created uh-huh. an issue for yourself that you don't know how to get out of. But you know what? Probably shouldn't have written yourself into it in the first place. You could have easily have avoided it in some way and not had to make me suffer for it. But it, really, it at least does make me really curious to see how the anime is actually going to handle it. It, it. It's... Again, I we said it at the beginning of this, the episode of the Shonen Archive where this is coming from. Because at this point, no one from Shonen Archive is hearing this unless they were interested about the, the extra bits that I've uploaded afterwards. But it really does feel like it's like a complete momentum shift. It actually makes me curious to see like how were the live reactions of Yu Yu Hakusho as the final like arc was happening. Does it feel like this? Is this how the Attack on Titan people felt Zen? <laughs> It might be. I, I feel like it's how my hero academia people feel. I, I feel uh, I'm watching um... watching All Might All Might fight all for one and like in a crazy robot suit after he was like, oh, I have value without being a hero. I I have to learn to live and then he's like, I'm gonna fucking blow myself up <laughs> to kill <laughs> all for one. Um I feel like it has to be it's like shared pain, you know? I guess so. Yeah, at least for that one, I, at least in the My Hero example, I'm definitely feeling like, uh, oh yeah, by the way, this is also a My Hero spoiler at this point. I'll make sure to put that in the video title as well. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Before the episode begins, I'll say which series are going to be spoiled here while we're going all out. Um, and that one, at least I felt like the moment where to kill him was during the fight. Even though I think a lot of the stuff that came afterwards was good enough to justify not killing him. You know, the part where he has to live with the society that has basically been under... It's actually very similar, where both Gojo and All Might have created a society in which the society cannot live without them. So what do you do when they're gone? 
And in Jujutsu Gaizen's case, it definitely feels more of a case of like, well, we're just going to pretend Gojo doesn't exist, and also uh, none of these dudes are actually capable of handling, because if Gojo couldn't do it, then they're kind of fucked. And in the, it's kind of similar, at least in My Hero, you have Deku, who has been gotten like seven different power-ups to be like, oh, he probably has a chance now. But it's definitely, at least you got to see from All Might's point of view of like, man, maybe I shouldn't have been so gung-ho to save everything because now that they don't have me these people are kind of (laughs) like running chicken headless and uh this is not what i wanted but this is kind of what you get when you're the number one savior and then your savior goes away and then all the people who were supposed to be who were under the idea they were living in peace but the peace was not actually withheld because it was being helped up by one guy so when you lose yeah, the one guy... Yeah, was doing everything. Yeah. Yes. So you enter a situation where the society crumbles because it was being held up by one dude who himself was being held up by fucking duct tape by the end of it, who was dying <laughs> as he was turning into All Might. And yeah, it. at least in My Hero, you got to see a little bit of the fall of that one. With Gojo, you just didn't get to see very much of anything, man. And with some of the other stuff that happens in Shibuya, it really does feel like... <laughs> He wrote Shibuya to such an amazing degree and then didn't think about, oh shit, what do I do afterwards? <laughs> What's my actual endgame plan here? And then it's, apparently his endgame plan is, I'm ending this shit in December. <laughs> yep. He looked at Yu Yu Hakusho and said, that's the key, baby. <laughs> uh, the then, key is to just get it done. Get it done, get out of here, get, get no back pain. That's what I'm looking for right here. Mm-hmm. I'll tell the anime staff, hey, you know, punch it up a little bit. Make it a little bit better. Like, I fully believe that when we get that fight animated, it's going to look great. But at that point, it's it it runs into the Mechamaru problem. Of, like, yep. I'm watching a beautiful fight, but the fight... That means nothing. That means nothing. Yeah, it's very hard for me. And I haven't seen any of the spoiler shit. The, you know how serious this shit was? I had to actually go and look up the spoilers. That's how serious this shit <laughs> as, as was. Because I was like, nah, no way. Fuck this. There's no way that this is happening. And I went to go look for it, and I never do it. But for this one, I had to. <laughs> I needed to see for myself. And since then, I haven't really done it, and I'm waiting for Sunday. It, uh, thankfully, less people are talking about it comparatively. Because I think pe- most people are <laughs> emotionally just drained of not wanting to talk about it anymore. Which I think is fine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely going to paint the remainder of this like anime thing. I, I actually kind of wonder if they're going to do the Attack on Titan thing. Where you know how they do the thing where it's like, Attack on Titan, the ending, part two, part three. <laughs> are they just going to that badly just... Are they just going to go one episode like, okay, we're done. <laughs> this just happens. Yeah. I. The thing is, like, the Gojo thing mm-hmm. was already like, what the fuck? And then in the next chapter, it's just another fight. That, that means even less, because who gives a shit about Kashimo? Like, who the yeah. fuck cares about this guy? I, that was even more bizarre to me, is that when that guy came in at the end, I was like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, <laughs> it's just, and then they're like, trying to hype him up. Like, it's that picture of the, the guy with the gas can and the bicycle. <laughs> like, he's trying, trying to, to gas, gas it up. up. Like, what he's are you doing? Trying to gas him up. May as well be Grasshopper tier at that point. Like, get, come on, get the fuck out of here. Even though they, I've seen some people were like, oh yeah, but remember when they had this moment? I was like, you know what? The person who said that just got fucking, like, destroyed. So I'm not sure if I, you're going to be using him as an example of, like, maybe this guy is sick. It's like, no. That guy didn't know what the fuck was going on because he got <laughs> he got FGC-style fight video destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to work out the way you think. Then his afterlife is also filled with people that should obviously be in hell. That was another thing where I was just like, I understand the moment you're going for, but some of these people should be burning in hell right now. <laughs> uh-huh. I've seen that monkey compilation. This guy does not deserve to be here. Uh, Ghetto does not deserve to be talking to you. Ghetto, my bad. I keep calling him the wrong thing, but because I'm tired at this point. <laughs> he does not deserve to be here with you right now. Come on. Be serious. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see where the anime goes from here. I'm definitely looking forward for more of Shibuya being animated, and especially with some of the other stuff going in there. 
Maybe we'll have another one of these talks during a specific fight later. Because I also have a lot of thoughts about where that fight ended up going. And it's also very annoying to me that it has not been addressed <laughs> at all. Other than some side moments where I'm like, that's not enough, man. The fuck are you doing? You better actually legitimately address this or I'm going to be really pissed off at the end of this series. But anyway, let's end the dolphin noises then and let's get into the ending of the show, right? Alright, I'm going to do a clap so I know. 